But the, once the ring is on here, this ring is snapped onto the bucket, as we all know, it's almost impossible to remove the, uh, the, the, the ring uh, without knowing some sort of trick. Um, and most times, the tricks that I've seen on, or suggestions I've seen on YouTube and elsewhere, you do damage to the, to the ring. And that's not going to be good for the next bucket. But there, here's the standard ring. This is a Home Depot bucket. Let's put it on. The way I put it on is I use a, a wood piece. I do not hammer it down. I think it's hard on the ring. So I get on top and I simply snap it on with my own body weight. Do something. And all I do is I put my foot in the middle and I take a spoon, a heavy duty spoon or something like this with heavy metal. It has a flange and you can get under the lip. I find the lip and I simply pry a little bit and I go around the bucket slowly. I don't need to go super fast and I don't, it's not very physical, honestly. This is not doing any damage to the ring because it's very gentle and there's enough flexibility of the plastic that it's not, it will not have damaged the, the ring to be used on yet another bucket. So that's it. And we'll show you on the other one that it's still usable and that we can get it off. Put this on plastic fatigue or anything like that. It's on there now so let's get this one off. Again the piece of wood is in the bottom of the bucket for me to stand on and I'm going to go ahead. This one actually comes off a little bit easier, believe it or not, because the lip is a little bit thinner. It looks like it's going to take longer, and all of a sudden it just pops off. It's weird. It's strange. Here we go.